Well, that, that's the other thing that's just beautiful. On Because of the social network, if, if I'm at a party, uh, you, you, you know, we don't walk around with like, like a big floating description above us, above our head that tells what business we're in and kind of what we're, what we're into, right? We don't, we don't have that on a party, but on, on social network I do, right? So there's my profile picture and right under that is a little, you know, mini description of exactly what, I, what I'm into, right? And you can, you can look in mere seconds and you can see, well, that person's interested in the same things that I am, right? And <clears throat> a lot of people talk about content, Chris, right? Everybody talks about content is king, content is king. Well, yeah. brother, if content is king, then context is God. And I don't <laughs> use his name lightly, right? right. So if content is king and context is God because I don't care how fabulous your content is. If it's out of contextual interest to me, I don't give a crap, right? Right. It really doesn't matter, and that, and it doesn't mean I'm a mean person, and it doesn't mean your content's no good. And it doesn't, it's just I don't care, right? right? And I'm and I'm on social networking anyway. I'm just I'm just here to 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 meet some people, have some fun, see some pictures of my cousin's kids, right? Whatever. That's why I'm there. So you know, I want to hear the news, you know, whatever. That's Twitter is the number one source of news today. Yeah. I mean that's that's their niche. Twitter is the number one place to go get the news. And, and the amazing thing is because it's the people's media, you get the, the actual media's report on what's happening, and then you get the report of everybody that's there, <laughs> right? Right? What's yep. really happening, right? And, and what, what we've seen things like, you know, we've seen governments toppled because of that, right? The, yeah. the PR machines, traditional media, they cannot keep up. You know, what, what, the, what we put in the article says this is happening. Well, 100 people are there, and they're saying, well, this is happening. And here's yeah. a video of it. Right? That's not true. You know, that, that guy at the podium, there's only six people standing in front of him, and the camera's really stealthy behind one of their heads, so it looks like there's a big crowd. And there's some guy in the wings with a video camera going, <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. Can, the jig is up, right? Yeah, but exactly. If you understand context, right, and you understand the context of what you're doing, then there's all kinds of groups, associations, and connections on, in social media, right? As soon as you're in past the profile, then there's groups and pages and, 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 and associations of all types, right? And lists of all types. And whatever, you know, you are, right? There's my green guy again. Whatever, and whatever your big idea is, if you're listening in social media, you can find very quickly communities and groups of people that are interested in what you're interested in and or interested in the problem that you solve with your business. And the most brilliant thing in the, in the Twitter and, and hashtag and, and the Twitter and Instagram and now the Facebook a little bit world is hashtags. Hashtags are amazing. People don't understand them, but what it is, is I describe it as a, it's a context hyperlink. Right? It's a it's a hyperlink to everyone in that community that's talking about a subject. Yep. And and it's like oh my, as a marketer and you know, oh my gosh, right? And and as a somebody who's just interested in something, right? You mean I can go to a place where there's four hundred million people and I can click a button and I can find everybody that's interested in dog food? Oh my gosh! Right? I mean, this is this is mine, and and people don't. They're like they don't get it, and they're like, oh, this is game changing, right? And and it's all by hashtags, and so hashtags are. It's like a hyperlink, I and mean, it takes you to a new place on on online. But it, what it does is it takes you to a to a context reference point. And if you are if you are listening in social in the social network. You can find the context that, that your people are already talking about. And then all you have to do is go there, right? And the, the amazing thing is, is all of the big companies, right? So let's let's talk to the self-employed people that are probably watching this, right? Let's be frank, right? Little companies, small self-employed people. So the amazing thing is the that all of these big eight hundred pound gorillas in your marketplace, they're all hiding behind a logo and they're all they're all on on on, on social network. You know, posting a couple times a day some sort of coupon or some sort of crap, right? They're not engaging. They have no personality. So what you have an incredible opportunity is to be funnier, more helpful, more interesting, more engaging, and have better energy than a big freaking corporate logo. 
and they, and they have a compliance team that you know that has to approve everything. I mean, they, they, their stuff is it's just boring, right? Yeah. The only reason the only reason you're following Whole Foods on Twitter is so you get the, the freaking coupons, right? That's it. Yes. It's the only thing. It's the only reason they don't they don't engage with you. They don't they're not interesting. They're not connecting with you. Yep. Meanwhile, by the way, and I work a little bit in consulting at the enterprise level, and those people are all sitting around boardrooms pulling their hair out trying to figure out how to play <laughs> in the social space because they want to really bad, but they well, just don't fit. Yeah, there's no fit. And the interesting part, John, is the fact that sometimes when they do, they have the debacle because they don't get the right person in, and then all yeah. of a sudden, you know, somebody okay. loses their marbles and sends off a stupid tweet or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um you, you, know. can, you can game those people, right? I mean, you can you can out interesting the 800 pound gorilla in your market. And, and here's the, the the thing: this is not on the board. So this is this is, but people don't get it. Um, so you, you write this down if you're in business, okay? Their their best customers are listed there for you, right? All of their followers are. It's an open source list. Right, all 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 of the all of the data on social media, it's open source, right? So if you've got a little uh, natural, I said Whole Foods. Let's say I've got a little natural health food store in a little town, right? And and there's a Whole Foods, uh, you know, 15 miles away. You can literally go into search.twitter.com, and you can and you can follow, you can find everybody who who follows Whole Foods that lives within 15 miles of your place, and there's a freaking list of them. It's their best customers in your community, and there's a list of them. And all you have to do now is be more engaging, funnier, interesting, more conversational, and, which is so easy for you because you're an actual human person who's actually interested in this stuff and not a big, giant corporate entity. It's a complete freaking game changer for a self-employed person or a small business, and it all is driven by hashtags and, and, and online communities. And a lot of it has to do, I think, with the changing with changing your mindset. I mean, there's a lot of people who want to run multi-million and multi-billion dollar companies who, if we're talking Whole Foods, who want to open 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 grocery stores. And that's and that's great. Um, you can you know, you can you can do that and you can um, how can I put this? You don't this? have to use that today, Chris. That's well, the thing. And that's right. Yeah, and that's that was that was kind of what I was that was kind of what I was getting at is the fact that um, but I think sometimes people get overwhelmed and they say, okay, I can't compete with the big people. And what I believe people have to realize is you don't have to compete with the big people, whether it's one store or whether it's one, you know, you've got to have enough business to sustain you and your lifestyle. And then if you want to build it, you can continue to grow, but you have a leg up on, you actually have a leg up on larger companies because you started to be interactive, you know, and that's what I was talking about mindset real quick is the fact that I was, I was coaching someone through this the other day, the fact that. You know, they have different goals and they want to be, you know, basically they have enough business in their area that they could never serve by themselves and they don't want to own a company. It's like, dude, fine. Then you don't need to be big and you don't need to be talking about, you know, traveling all over the world. It's like, you know, if you want to run a company, then you start small and you build up. But anyway, I'm getting way off the track. So we here we all talked about how to connect to the right people. And Sean, I love the fact that you brought up everything has to be in context. I love the fact that you that you educated people about the the whole you know, Twitter hyperlink because it is it's a gold mine. And and the other thing I look at it as is it means you don't initially have to be in the groups where those people are. So you don't have to join 75 groups just to figure out if they're really talking about what you want. You can go to a hashtag, you can figure and say, okay, this person or these groups really have subjects that you know really have subjects that that I want to that I want to hear about. You know now now that we're learning how to connect to, with the right people, we've got to move those people into real relationships that are going to grow our business. So, to watch the rest of this epic episode now, click on the link below the video. Do it now; you'll be glad you did. Are you still here? What are you waiting for? Watch the rest of this epic episode now by clicking on the link below the video.